All right, I wanted to sh uh, video, do this video to show you how to do a few things in Webmin. First thing we're going to go to is System, Users, and Groups. This is a list of all the real users in the system. Anytime you want a new um, POP3 account, you will need to set up a new user. So I'm going to go to Create a New User. And I'm going to go ahead and create a user for your balance at the get JPS info. So bounce. I'm gonna call this user bounce dash get JPS info. I won't need to set anything else except for the password. Let's that to um, password I've set for the other accounts. You can change that anytime you want. I'm just going to scroll down here and click create. And you can see that that user is created. Now we need to go tell the mail which mail needs to go to that user. So you need to go to servers, send mail, mail server. The option that you'll typically use the most will be this one that says address mappings for virtual users. I'm going to click on that. You can see the ones that are right now. Bounce at get JPS info goes to the user Joel Peck right now. And eBray goes to the user Joel Peck right now. It's off the screen but um, goes to Joel Peck right now as well. Any other user gets returned with an error saying this user doesn't exist. So I'm going to change this one click on it and instead of this bounce it get JPS info going to Joel Peck I'm gonna change that to go to the bounce dash get JPS info user click Save and now any mail any mail to bounce it get JPS info goes to a separate user called stash get JPS info that you'll need to check separately in a separate pop 3 account than the user Joel Peck That'll do it for this video.